This is a little off topic for what we normally do tutorials on for this channel, but it's actually still kind of relevant and useful information, especially for maybe the documentary filmmakers. Let's just jump into YouTube for a second and I'll show you what I'm talking about. And it's basically transcribing an interview, putting it down into text. So I did this interview with John McCafferty uh, this last January. And let's say I want to take that text and add it to the no budget website as a written interview or perhaps a documentary. Maybe you need to make sure you have your captioning and that type of stuff. So this is going to be really useful for getting those captions and editing the text. Now there's ways that you can get the text from the video. You can send it off to a service that'll do it for you. There's some apps that'll do it, but you know, some of them cost money. I found the free ones to not be that great, but you can actually get all the text from the interview within YouTube. So what you do is upload the video just like you normally would. And even if you're maybe don't want to actually have anyone see the video, that's fine. You can upload it and then just not publish it. So when you're in YouTube in your videos, you want to go to the subtitles and CC, and then you see where it says uh, published because I automatically have it set to um, community contribution, but you can also go to the add new subtitles or CC. But if you've got it published, just hit click the little where it says English automatic, and it takes you into this other view here. And you can already see we've got text on the side of the screen showing. And this is actually what I'm going to want to edit. So I click the edit and now what I can do is start playing through the video and editing the text as I need. Welcome to No Budget. I'm Milo Dennison and today I am talking with filmmaker John McClafferty. He is a Irish born filmmaker currently residing in Spain. So you can see I've got all the text of our interview in here and now what i can do is of course edit it here and republish any edits so that way it's correct on youtube but the tip for the documentarians and the people that want to transcribe is you want to go publish your edits go back into the video now under actions you can download that text so there's different file formats that you can save it as. SRT being the most popular one. I'm going to jump into my downloads. So now I have access to that SRT file. So I'm just going to open it with Notepad. And as you can see, it's got all the text. Yeah, there's a lot of other crap in here that we don't want. But it's a better starting point than if I were just typing it all out. So I can now go to Word. Oops. and edit the whole text for the interview and then post it onto a website. Or if you're not doing that, if you're looking to get the SRT file for a film project that you need, you now have that and you can upload it into the video editor that you're using. So like I said, kind of related, but kind of not related, but I thought it was kind of an interesting and useful tip that maybe you can use in your films.